Hi Aquarius. So today I am going to be doing your monthly. Okay, let's see what's going on with your life in the month of September. Hmm. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that my reading is general. It may or may not resonate. Take the does and leave the rest. Also, I do offer personal reads. If you would like a personal with me, please let me know in the comment section and I will send you guys my email address. So, also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you guys again. Heavy on the subscribe and share and like, okay? So, one card. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. I feel like you guys got this in your daily survive. But you need to talk to this person. You guys need to honestly discuss how you feel in September. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Okay. Next. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Ooh. So, you guys might be wanting to marry this person. And it says flirt at the bottom of the deck. Extend your lighthearted energy. So, okay. Okay, Let's see what's going on here for the month of September for you. First card out, we have the Knight of Cups. Could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This person is coming in very romantic. Kind of fly, too. You see his little... This is, this is the water signs thing, though. They're very good on dressing. He got his pants rolled up. He's very big on detail. He got his pants rolled up. He got wings on his converses. His, you see his shirts rolled up, too. He got this cute little hat. All right. So, your person is, like, really stylish. <laughs> They might they have a nice little car in the back, too. He got a stallion. He riding in on a stallion. Might be a Mustang. This person is into cars. They like taking trips. They like doing nice things. Love letters. They, they send you sweet messages throughout the day telling you how they feel. Okay. So this person, okay, so there's a tower moment that might feel you leaving left, feeling left out in the cold. Maybe this person is apologizing for what happened that made you feel this way. I feel like they were confused. They might text you and tell you that or call you. Yeah, They're, I feel like this is burdening you because it's like, what the fuck? What was this tower moment? They just suddenly ended the relationship? Hmm. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Yeah, I feel like this person felt like they needed to move forward or they might have told you they needed time apart or something of that nature. So why is the Knight of Cups here? Because now I need to know. But now they're conflicted because they want you. It's like they want you, but they push you away. Hmm. Why is the Seven of Cups here? They're passionate about you. Now they see you being single and cute or whatever. And now they like, hold the fuck up. I ain't mean for that to happen. <laughs> Why is the Eight of Wands here? This person is going to be coming in to tell you that they're stressed. And they miss you. And they still want to be with you. And they see the future with you. And they want to grow old with you. But they, why did you leave them? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Uh, if you have a child with this person, this person was burdened by that. I feel like um, if you didn't have a child with this person or wasn't pregnant by this person or aren't, aren't trying to get pregnant with this person, then this person was just a little burdened by growth with you and they needed to make a decision. But if this is a baby or an act of trying to have a baby or to try to keep a baby, this person is indecisive about whether or not they want to do it. With the lovers here, they're very passionate about you. But I feel like a baby or a situation where a baby is involved is very uh, heavy for them right now. So let's take a look at this person. Okay, spirit. Please give me some energy on this person 
that Aquarius is thinking about. Energy on this person that Aquarius is thinking about. Energy on this person that Aquarius is thinking about. They love you. They want the world with you. This person sees you as a soulmate. Yeah, they're very conflicted about it, though. I feel like this person is having a hard time being in a relationship. They're used to, they want to, like, it's like they, not that they want to be alone, but they prefer to be alone. They prefer to do things by themselves. So having someone do shit with them is a little bit of a, a problem. Yeah, Eight of Wands, they might tell you that, though. And with the King of Swords, you might look at it from a different perspective. Or you might think, like, how the fuck am I supposed to be then? What do you want me to be? Why is the Ace of Cups here, Spirit? Yeah, the Five of Cups. I feel like this person loves you, but they're also very sad that it's not working out. Yeah, it's not balancing out the way it needs to here. Why is the World card here, Spirit? Mm. Yeah, because the relationship ended. Something with this relationship is just like having an issue right now. Am I shuffling backwards or did all my cards just... What? I feel like shit might be all over the place for y'all because this damn show is all over the place for me now. Hold on. I got to fix my cards. I mean, they just went haywire. Okay. Okay, so. Why is this hair fine in reverse? Because they walked away. I feel like this person needed to get time to themselves so they might have ended a relationship or it might have felt like an ending because this person just completely, completely withdrawn. Yeah, but they want to offer you something. A new start? Yeah. They look at you like a soulmate. Why is the Five of Wands here? What is the conflict? Eight of Cups. Walking away. Because they walked away, that was conflicting to them. Yeah, that shit made them realize some shit. That they wanted to grow the situation with you. Shouldn't never left, stupidy. So, with the Nine of Pentacles, why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Also, I feel like you might have left them because they felt like they wanted to just be a player. This person was having a little passion and endeavors everywhere. So, they were like, you were like, you know what, fuck it. Why is the Eight of Wands here? But they're trying to get you back. They're looking at things and they're noticing how dark they can be and how much, deceptive, how much deception they bring into this relationship. Yeah, that left you guarded though. I don't think you know what to do either. Okay, so I just heard this person is sneaky. So you might know that this person is sneaky. You might know that this person be up to some bullshit from time to time. What is the outcome? The Queen of Pentacles. So I see you saying being good regardless. You sitting on it. You like whatever. Either way, I'm going to be good. Yeah, with the king of pen damn, that's a couple. So I feel like you both would be good regardless. But I feel like since these came out together, you guys are going to be abundant together. But see, both of y'all are being stubborn. You got your back turned, they got their back turned. It's like whatever. So in the month of September, it's going to be a power struggle cuz you buy you guys both are like I'm good. Yeah, with the page of cups, but someone is going to come in and offer an apology. Yep, and a new start is going to start. Okay, I feel like this is a cycle for you too. I feel like this has been happening like this. What's the advice? Try not to be um, in your feels so much. Yeah, I feel like, oh, this relationship is just still... Maybe you don't need to put this uh, relationship as a, such a priority. Stop putting it so high up in your regards. Focus on work. Okay. So now, speaking of work, let's get to the money. Let's talk about money, baby. Let's talk about the money, baby. So, what do we have going on for Aquarius and money for the month of September? What do we have going on for the money? For Aquarius and the month of September. A new... Okay, so there's some money. Okay, so you might have started a new job already. Shit is just a lot. It's heavy. I feel like with the Six of Cups, you might be missing your old job a little bit, but we don't grow if we don't fucking go. I feel like this is you telling everybody, oh, everything is fine. Work is great. Work is stressing you the fuck out. 
but work is good work is fine because it's not none of nobody's fucking business right right okay so what is the advice what is the advice what is the advice The advice is for one to remember who the fuck you are. It says you are a badass being full of life, love, and possibilities. And through this deck, may you find a path that best fits yourself. So if you need to find another motherfucking job and end this job because it's not what you want, go for it, okay? Because ain't no reason for you to feel like this at a brand new fucking job where it's supposed to feel like this. This shit's supposed to feel heaven sent. Got you up here feeling like you want to knock motherfuckers' heads off. And then you might be working in the nursing field. They all got a uh, mask and shit on. But whatever. Everybody got a mask and shit on right now. Six of cups. Maybe go back to your old job. If you can't go back to your job, find an old job that's similar. You like that job. Maybe you went to a new job. Yeah, look. King of Pentacles. You went to a new job for more money. But I feel like it just is not panning out the way you wanted it to. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you.